Coaxial cables extending far to seaward have added a new dimension to Project Caesar, our Navy's sound surveillance system. In addition to this new sonar transmission facility, Bell Telephone Laboratories has also modified the shore station analysis equipment with state-of-the-art advances. Advances in beam forming, time compression and data storage, analysis and display. This new highly reliable solid state equipment provides improved detection and greater resolution of underwater signals. Signals which can strip away the natural sea camouflage from a submarine and pinpoint its location. The coaxial sea terminal of a Caesar station consists of a hydrophone array and carrier equipment. The hydrophones detect minute pressure changes in the water caused by sound waves and convert them into electrical impulses. The carrier multiplex equipment prepares these impulses for transmission through the coaxial cable. Cable repeaters or amplifiers are installed to offset losses in the cable. Thus, with the coaxial cable, signals from an array can be carried to the shore station for analysis and display. In the shore equipment, the signals are amplified, formed into beams, time compressed and stored, analyzed, and displayed. With the introduction of digital spectrum analyzers, performance in each of these areas has been significantly improved over earlier equipment. This improved beam forming device is called a magnetic delay line, or MDL. It is superior to earlier fixed delay networks due to its great flexibility, its increased frequency response, and its smaller size. DSA consists of a deltic, a delay time compressor, and a frequency spectrum analyzer. This is the heart of the shore analysis terminal. Incoming signals to the DSA are first time compressed and temporarily stored in the deltic. Compression and storage provide the time to repeatedly scan and completely frequency analyze the incoming information in the spectrum analyzer. Let's look inside the DSA and see how it works. Each signal frequency is displayed as a vertical line on electrosensitive paper. Random noise is recorded as a diffused gray background. By interpreting the frequency and spacing of these signal lines, it is possible to determine the type of target generating these frequencies. Also, knowing the bearing angle and by judging the intensity of the lines, it is possible to approximate the general location of the target. Thus, both classification and location information are displayed. In summary then, Caesar stations equipped with magnetic delay lines and digital spectrum analyzers provide more flexible beam forming, greater signal storage, narrower analysis bandwidth, and wider frequency display than previous systems. The result is greater signal resolution and improved detectability. This then is SOSIS, today's Caesar sound surveillance system, meeting the challenge of advances in submarine warfare with up-to-date electronic detection devices. As other Caesar stations are added to SOSIS, more and more of the vast ocean spaces fall under our scrutiny, providing the United States Navy with a most effective underwater detection system. <laughs>